random dad stuff. Okay, made it our first night here. Got up this morning and we got right to work. Um, I told him I know how to fix things or can figure out how to fix things. So first thing, a uh, guy takes me into into his uh, his closet workshop and there's all this highly advanced, sophisticated medical equipment that needed to be fixed and circuit boards and all these wires and everything. I'm like, mm, okay, maybe I can figure something out. So this morning we uh, already fixed one of the uh, oxygen machines. That was fun. And uh, there was one of the uh, cautery machines that was got fried because somebody plugged it into 220 instead of 110, which it was supposed to be. Um, not sure how that happened but it uh, fried some of the electronics on the board. So we've got to get a couple new capacitors for the circuit board, but there's nothing available here. You have to go 12 hours away to get it and you can't just order stuff. There's no items on here. But it should be interesting just to kind of jerry-rigging everything, but that's how they do it here and make it work. Hard work here. <laughs> I know how to use one of these, though. All good. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like there's a ton of different building projects going on, but nothing ever really gets finished. And it takes a long time for things to get finished. So you can see behind me here, this hospital compound has two generators so one goes for 12 hours another one goes for 12 hours they keep them running 24 hours a day because obviously there's some hospital equipment that needs constant power um, but even then it's still not that reliable but it's, it's the best around here it's the only place that has electricity around here so pretty lucky here the hospitals over here and see all the people lined up and the people's families all come and stay at the hospital with them. They just kind of camp out wherever. And this is probably the main hub of the city. Just walking around a little bit. It's not a very big place. So I taught these kids how to play baseball. We had to pause our game for some cows going through. Bye, cows. <laughs> All right, so here's a recap of day two. I fixed some things, and these guys cut out, cut out some things, and Cami organized some things. And, but you saw this in the video already, I talked the local kids how to play baseball and they got pretty good at it <laughs> with a nut and a seed little pod. seed pod stick we're at a good start that's the end of the date <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>